we're going to get started to give today the community and the media an important update on this critical project, our North Lake pilot demonstration project. I just thought it was important that I spoke up with regards to this milestone event on behalf of the County of Riverside, many partners, when we're talking about the Song Sea. The Song Sea and the surrounding communities have struggled for a very long time. Ultimately, if we don't do anything about this, not only is it gonna have a major impact economically for our region, which a lot of people think about, and rightly so, but if the Song Sea continues to recede as it has been year after year after year as a result of the Quantification Settlement Agreement, we're going to see more dust in the air. You're going to see an unfertile environment, which you're beginning to see already, where there's a lack of fish and wildlife. You're going to see more people getting sick. You're going to have more respiratory illnesses more asthma rates, more nosebleeds with our kids that are going to school nearby. I want to plead with the state of California and with my colleagues that although this is a milestone, let's complete the project. Thank you so much, Supervisor, for uh, setting the context uh, to why this day is extremely important and why uh, this work uh, matters uh, to all of us. We are here at the North Shore Yacht Club on a very special day. Why is this significant for the people that live in this region? Well, for decades, uh, there's been a lot of conversation about activity happening uh, with the Salton Sea as it pertains to improving uh, the quality of the water, mm -hmm. improving the environmental degradation that we've seen over the course of some time. This particular project, uh, closer to the community, will allow for the community to see um, the work in progress on real time. Uh, this uh, $20 million project that is funded by Prop 68, the voters approved uh, in 2018, is a clear opportunity uh, for us to demonstrate the type of work that can happen in and around the Salton Sea to improve both the environmental uh, challenges that exist out here, as well as create pathways for economic development opportunities in the region. Highly anticipated, correct? Highly anticipated, uh, not just by those working on this project directly, but by the residents who live in and around this community. Uh, we will now be able to point to a real project that's under construction on real time and say, there's uh, some progress being made. I think one of the key components to this project and something that we continue to uh, promote as the Salton Sea Authority is that we would like to prioritize projects in the vicinity of existing communities like North Shore. Um, and so that's, that's, that's a, a big factor of why we chose this project to be situated in this particular area because of the benefit and the potential positive impacts that it could, ha could have to the surrounding community. Well, the, the Salton Sea Authority working together with the state of California and Riverside County have been working for a number of years to identify and implement a project that would address the needs of the community and also help inform much more significant efforts that we need to move forward with. What we're going to be doing today is ground testing that will inform the development of projects in this area. We have a project plan which is roughly a 160 acre lake which will be um, adjacent to this historic facility that will run about a half a mile to the north and a half a mile to the south, and it'll reinvigorate this, this facility, and it'll provide a great public benefit to the community in the region. So Patrick, just so I'm understanding this correctly, so this testing is essential to move these projects forward, right? It, these and future projects, yeah. right? So what, what they'll learn with the testing of the soil will, will be you know, what type of design for berms that they built to retain the water, what type of uh, uh, absorption the soil will have and how much water they'll need to develop the project. It's basically in three parts of what we're doing to look at the soils beneath the ground to see what the foundation is for our project. Um, the three parts are basically a geophys geophysical survey and the second is called CPT or uh, cone penetration testing 
And then finally, we'll actually do some actual borings on the site. Going back to the first one, geophysical survey is what we did here this week. And we were out there, and it's basically a, a cost-effective way to gather a lot of information across the whole site. So that's done by, by setting up some equipment and sending some shock waves through the ground and, and able to take that data to kind of figure out what's below the surface. Um, not real deep, but deep. The second one is a cone penetration test, which we're going to do in a two or three weeks. What that is is a little more accurate test in more localized areas throughout the site. So we get more detailed information that helps augment our database. And then finally, a couple weeks after that, probably the beginning of December, we'll actually come out here with the drill rigs and do the borings down quite deep to look and actually look at the soil physically in our hands, not just look at um, computer waves and so forth on the computer. We have about 5,000 acres of restoration projects that are going on at the sea. Um, including a 4,100 acre project down at the south side of the sea, the Species Conservation Project. So we're excited to be here today on the north side of the sea and recognizing the, the opportunity here with the location of this project close to the community of North Shore. And that's part of what we're so excited about with this. Thank you everybody for coming today. Again, we have many subject matter experts here who are available for interviews or questions. Thank you.